morning everybody i blazed a little bit of a trail getting in here this morning but uh i'm going back into a kind of a remote lake i got a little bit of a hike yet i um, got all the stuff loaded up um looking for looking for bluegills today uh first key is finding bluegills second key is finding big bluegills so those are the goals for today i don't know what else is in the lake but i've never fished the lake either just have heard about it. So we're going to get out there, try and find some big bluegills. Have a great day. Stick around. We got a great show. Well, I hope this is going to be worth it. Blazing a trail. I think it's safe to say I'm the first one over here. You can see the lake down there. Got just a little bit ways to go here downhill. Well guys, we made it out to the lake. Oh, I sure hope this is good. I'm not looking forward to that walk back. But we'll we'll deal with that when the time comes. Right now we got a whole lake to ourselves. Hopefully some big bluegills. Hopefully untapped water. But uh, we got the main basin out here. And then we got a little bit shallower bay here and it pinches down between this point. There's a point that comes out right here. And I'm hoping there's some weed bed on here and I'm gonna try and find the edge of that. Let's start drilling some holes. So my first, my first hole is 28, 29 feet. So I'm still, I'm out over the deeper water. But I drilled towards, towards that point. We're gonna find the edge, try and find some weeds. Twenty-seven and a half. Twenty-six. Twenty-four, getting there. Twenty-one. I'm gonna drop my jig down in this twenty-foot, twenty-one-foot hole. Let's see if we call anything in. But ultimately, I think they're gonna be shallower yet, uh, early in the season. Oh, there's a fish on it already. Look at that! As soon as I dropped it down there. Some fish guys right off the point just where I wanted to be. Fish on. Ooh. Looks like a good one. Looks like a good one. 
very good fish. All right, if this is a bluegill, it's a giant. It's a bass. That's right, it's a start. We're on fish. That was fun. I didn't find weeds like I thought I would, but I found fish. That's the important thing. If there are any weeds in the lake, there's probably fish on them but I haven't found them yet. I drug my tent all the way out here. <clears throat> uh, kind of wondering if that was a mistake, we'll see. Like three or four quick fish show up there, now nothing. Maybe it'll be a whole hopping day. There are three different apps that I use to search and explore new bodies of water. I use on X to check land access and confirm that the access points I'm using are public land. I use Google Earth to find lake structures and points. On clear water lakes, underwater reefs, trees, weeds, and points can be seen on aerial photos. I use the Navionics boating app for lake contours and other notes on the lake features like rocks, trees, and weeds. There's a fish. Got it. Oh. 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 Got off. That was big again. Try another bass. It's the same hole I caught that first bass out of. It's the only hole I've really had any kind of luck in. I figured I'd try this again and then uh, make a decision if I want to put my tent up here or keep moving if I can get the occasional fish coming through I would set up but the good thing is the ones that showed up a bit so it's not going to be in the video but I fished all around in this bay here never marked a fish this is the hole I caught the bass out of and then had that second one. And I've marked some other fish here, but it's it's been pretty quiet actually. There's not a lot moving through. So now what I might end up doing is walking back through this way and punching some holes down around that end of the lake until I can find something more consistent. But uh, if nothing else, we'll come back to this hole. Here's one. Whoa. Whoa, did that thing smash it. It's a bass. Goodness gracious, was that aggressive. Well, there's definitely a, some smaller bass in this lake. They're fun. Man, if I could get onto a bunch of them, that'd be a blast just catching those. Man, they smash it. So I just moved a little ways here. Kind of on the other side of the point. I'm back in... 13 feet of water again. That's where I caught those that other bass. Same depth, so that might be kind of a magic depth to target here. I guess for bass anyway, we haven't caught any bluegills yet. I'm not looking for a ton of bluegills, I'm just looking for big bluegills. So the occasional hog is all we really want. It's always a good feeling when you're on a 
a lake and you know you're the first one out on that ice. The fish haven't seen haven't seen jigs dangling in front of their face. They're just out here eating. When trying a new lake or new area, I will stay mobile until I find fish. Drilling multiple holes over varying depths and lake features can be an effective way to find fish. Shoreline structure and features can be an indicator of underwater structure and contour. A steep shoreline bank may continue into the lake, creating a deeper shoreline. A gradual or flat shoreline would tend to create a shallow portion of the lake that may contain weeds. Shoreline points above water likely also extend out into the lake. I'm outside a beaver food bed right now. See the branches in the water here. I'm in 16 feet here. But I might drill closer yet. So far this lake seems very featureless. So I'm trying to find any kind of structure I can that the fish are going to relate to. Oh, here we go. Right off the bottom. Got him. Oh, got off. Oh, I don't know what that was. Came right off the bottom. I'm right out from that beaver food bed in 17 feet. Oh, here we go again. Right up off the bottom again. Missed him again. That's gonna have to stop. I might have to put a different jig on here. Yeah, this one's compromised. Here we go again. Got him. Good fish, whatever it is. Ooh. This is a bluegill, it's giant. I don't think it is a, probably another little bass. That's what it is. That was fun. And they must be thick in here. There's just like three in a row came up. This might be a bass video. Well, guys, I'm kind of back where I started. Worked all around that edge of that lake over there. Caught a couple bass, as you saw. But nothing consistent. Didn't mark anything that I thought was a bluegill. So, so far all we know about this lake is that it has small bass in it. So one of the things I'm looking for when I work around the edge of this shoreline is wherever there are trees down and laying in the water. And then I'm just drilling out from those trees um, with a lake like this that is completely featureless. I'm looking for any little thing that I can fish near that fish may be relating to. So you have a lot of shoreline uh, wood laying down in the lake. As you can see, I'm going to be going up along this shoreline, drilling some holes and just trying to find a little sweet spot. I don't know how deep these fish are hanging out right now. I've tried right now. I'm in four or five feet of water. I've tried out in 20 feet of water. I've tried, you know, in that intermediate area, the 13 to 15, and that's where I'm catching the bass. But so far I have not come in contact with a bluegill. It's a little hard when you don't have a weed bed. I, I thought there might be weeds out here, but it doesn't look like there is. Because that's kind of the natural spot you first go to. You think bluegills, you think weeds. So go to the weed edge or somewhere near the weeds.
Well guys, that was it. That's what you call working for it. Sometimes the hard work pays off and sometimes it doesn't and this time it didn't. We just couldn't find any bluegills. Just a few bass that we caught. And I busted my butt getting that sled in and out and I never even used the tent. But that's the way it goes sometimes. I did learn some stuff today. So we'll be, a, be able to apply that knowledge for the future. But right now, we're just trying to get out of the woods and head on home. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe learned something. Until next time, thanks for watching.